guys, we are back here within the office to do some more investigation. I feel like last time, uh, investigation didn't really lead to any fruitful answers. Specifically here within the office and, uh, hey, more old pizza. Don't mind, don't mind if I do. I always seem to find this pizza lying around me that's great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. That was... Yeah, okay. Let me get rid of that. I'm sure that's gonna have no ill effects on my body after this. Ugh, I'm sure we're gonna be fine. Anyway, guys, last time when we investigated this office, I feel like we came up short. I feel like the answers we were getting to looking in all of these rooms were kind of a little bit unfruitful. So I think it's the best idea to check this thing out, see if anything's changed, and I've just noticed this terrifying message. Have a restful night with a sneaky looking emoji right there. That message seems kind of creepy. It seems like someone's playing with us or something like that. Someone's taunting us from afar. Okay, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Don't work too hard. Okay, yeah, maybe I'm looking too much into these, into these messages here. They just sound so creepy. Anyway, guys, as per usual, we are going to do a few jobs just to start us off before we do some investigation here. I realize we didn't check out many of the cubicles, and I also want to check out the lobby again, because last time, we found out someone was kidnapped there. Like, do you remember that little boy with the propeller hat? He was stuck in there, so we need to check that out again, see if he's still hanging around there, and potentially ask more questions. Anyway, we're back with the lovely... Temp bot who is looking beautiful this morning, may I add? I mean, it is technically the morning, Guido. It's just, um, three o'clock in the morning. And we're the only ones stupid enough to be up at this time. Anyway, let's just do some jobs and get this shift done quickly enough so we can take our break and uh, do some investigation. Hello! Will do. Will do. Okay, so we have got to evaluate these subjects here. So first of all, Bandit Bot. Now, I've never really liked Bandit Bot. You know, he's a bit mean, he's a bit nasty, he likes to steal stuff. I'll tell you what, I'll take this, thank you very much. And uh, look, I would never steal stuff from anyone. So Bandit Bot, me and him, we don't really have anything similar. Oh sweet, a clock, I'll take this, thank you very much. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this guy. Now, what's this actually gonna do? This says, neat. No, I don't want him to be, ah, oh, fine. Next, we have Hipster Bot, and his performance is an artisan, and his attitude is superior. Classified contents, human proof envelope, privacy guaranteed. Dude, what's in here that you don't want me to see? This is, okay, whatever. Look, let's stamp this thing. There you go. Wrong, apparently. Okay. I kind of feel like that one would, was better suited to, uh, to Bandit Bot. Safari Bot. I like this guy. Guido, this may actually be your dad. I mean, look at that mustache. You have a lot of similarities here. <laughs> okay, man. All right. Outlandish and mustache. Much like you, Guido. Again, the similarities continue. Let's do this. And he is approved. You're lucky, Guido. Your dad's been approved. Anyway, Travel Bot. Relaxed and flighty. Again, another human proof envelope. Do that. Fired! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have any control over what the stamp says. Okay, let's do this. Oh my gosh, we can do multiple stamps. Look at this. <laughs> okay, are you not gonna take these? You just left them on the- Ah, oh, great. Well, now I've got all these classified documents on the ground here, which is fantastic. Do we have a shredder or anything? Like, maybe there's some way we could dispose of them, but either way, let's just carry on with the next job right here. Who is next? Oh, a junk dunker. Um... Okay. Oh, I can do this. Watch this. You ready for this? I'm going to throw it directly in the air, and it's going to fall gracefully back down into there. You ready for this? Here it goes. I'm not even going to look at the basket. Huh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that was a close. Oh, it almost bounced off and went back in. Um, Can I have another one, or do I need to use that same one? Okay, look. I'll use this one. Here we go. Uh, oh, goodness. That's embarrassing. Here we go. Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> this is terrible. This is really bad. They keep bouncing off. Okay. Just aim carefully this time, Steve. Here we go. Don't embarrass yourself one more time. We just got to get three of them in. Here we go. Oh, oh goodness. Maybe it's because I'm not wearing these sweet shades. Look, once I put them on now, I'm going to be super powered up. I'm going to be so ready for this. Can I have another one of those of those balls, please? I think. Oh, wait, they're both here. Okay. Let me grab this. Grab this one. And watch this. I'm going to get a double-handed. Both of them going in. Ready for this? Ooh, oh, my gosh. Neither of them went in. <laughs> I had double the chance of getting them in there, and neither of them actually went in. Okay, let me try this again. I've got to at least get one in here. There we go. There's one. There's one. Here's two. And here is three. Trick shot. And, oh gosh. I actually do want to do a trick shot here. That would be amazing. Hold on. Give me another one. Give me another one. I'm ready. I'm going to bounce it off of something, and it's going to go straight in. Watch this. Here we go. Uh, let me try something like this. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, I just threw it in his face. <laughs> That wasn't really a trick shot. Okay. Oh, those glasses almost went in. Oh, that hat's awesome. Maybe I'll take that one instead. Now, you know what? I'm not stealing anything. I'm not a stealer. All right, here we go. We got the last ball here. We got to get this one in. Huh? Yes. 
Finally. I'll see you later, man. Thank you for the hat. Okay, I did end up stealing it in the end, Guida. Not gonna lie. Okay, he went straight into the lobby. Interesting. So I guess once they're done with the job, they go into the lobby and maybe that's where Tempbot has them held captive. I don't know. It just seems a bit suspicious that they're all finding their way stuck in the lobby. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this hat. There we go. Uh, another job, I think. And then we're going to go straight into investigation mode. Oh, I love this one. Why, Guido? Because it gives me a lot of food to eat. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, for sure. Uh, if I just move this stuff out of the way. Okay, the money goes in here. You're watching carefully. Use those glasses of yours to look carefully. And then we simply, uh, choose one. And what do you want? I, I think you want a pretzel. Here we go. You can have a pretzel. i tell you what, I'll get one as well. Oh, uh, no money? Ah, oh, it's a disaster. I should have copied that money. Can I take the money back? I can't. Okay, but Guida, once we do get the pretzel, we can simply do this and copy it. And we should have one for ourselves. There we go. Yes! And uh, I tell you what, Guido, I'll get you one as well. No, Guido, you're having one, okay? And uh, I'll tell you what, I'll get one for uh, your dad as well. You can also have one for your mother. Here we go. And uh, we'll wait for this to come out. And, uh, okay, Guido, I'm not going to lie. I wanted four pretzels to myself, okay? I know I'm disgusting. Anyway, look, here, you take this. Enjoy. And now I will enjoy these myself. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Yes, this is so good. Yes, that's a fun. <laughs> I can't eat a fun. On their desk for okay. Of time. Okay. Um, I don't know what you said right there, but I'm going to ignore that. Uh, I'll tell you what, Tempo, I'm going to take my break. You know, I'm just going to take my early morning break, use it as an opportunity to kind of stretch my legs, walk around. Nothing suspicious about that. Uh, I tell you what, you can have a hat. Oh my gosh, Guido, look at this office. It's such a mess. Anyway, look, uh, Tempo, let me give you this. Can I nail this? Can I nail a shot onto your head? Huh. And, oh, goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. There you go. Oh, yeah, you look fantastic. You look like a cowboy. Uh, can I take this? Thank you. Ah, good stuff. Uh, oh, okay, sir. So as I said, I'm going to do a little bit of exploring. First place I want to check out is the lobby. I also want to find the source of these messages because they're quite creepy. I mean, have a restful night with a creepy little smiley face. Don't work too hard. These just seem like very suspicious things to, to be putting on a big, big board here. Some would see it as motivational. I see it as terrifying. And what's this picture here? It's a to-do list. First idea. Second, I don't know, question marks. Third, profit. Engage, synergy, ideas. What could that mean? I don't know what that's all about. But uh, anyway, we're back here. Oh, hi, Tempo. I'm just having a little look around. Don't worry about me. Oh! Gosh, you scared me. All right, can I take this? Can I take your hat? Aha, what do you think about that? Okay. Okay, so once more, it is time to check out this uh, this lobby here. Now, this was probably the place where we found the most suspicious stuff last time. As I said, we found ourselves a, uh, a kidnap victim in there. So let's see what's going on in here. Wait, what's that? What's that through the window? Oh my gosh. Guido, I'm pretty sure there's something disgusting in here. There's a, uh... hi, how you doing? Uh, there's body parts? Guido, I think I'm gonna be sick. Look at this, body parts as a brain, and two pairs of hands, and another kidnap victim? Who are you? Wait, Guido, do you think this is like Tempbot's assistant? Maybe this is their executioner, the butcher. Maybe he kidnaps the humans, like me, which doesn't fill me with much confidence considering I'm locked in a room with him now, and chops them up into tiny pieces and stuffs their body parts in here? And I mean there's two pairs of hands, but only one brain. So what happened to the other brain? Could he have implanted it in someone else? Hi, yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Steve. Okay, yeah, this guy clearly isn't friendly. Okay, um, I need to get out of here. What? No, I'm not nervous at all, Guido. What makes you say that? Um, <clears throat> thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this installment of Checkpoint, please let me know with a like and a subscribe. Uh, we're going to wrap it up there. <clears throat> I think I'm going to take my break now, probably get a taxi home. As I said, guys, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. But for right now, this has been Steve. That's been... That's been Guida. This has been the uh, the job simulator offices. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to remember I saw that. Checkpoint complete. Um, oh my gosh, where's the phone? Here it is. <clears throat> Hi, I'd like to call a... Call a taxi, please. Okay, someone's cut the phone lines. I guess we're walking home, Guida. Okay. Bye, guys.